Hi, everybody. This is Dino Chris from Prehistoric Facts and Colossal Fossils. This is the 2022 season of Prehistoric Facts, and we're going to start this off with a Q&A episode. So let's actually get started, shall we? First off, the Dino Feed on YouTube it says, uh, Baryonyx, Allosaurus versus Baryonyx would be a very interesting fight. Indeed, probably with you on this one. Uh, how would, how about Siage versus Acrocanthosaurus? Ooh, that's a good one. Uh, Siage versus Acrocanthosaurus. So we got... Uh, two, di two predatory dinosaurs are in the same type of family group, so Allosauridae or Carcharodontosauridae, you know, that sort of <clears throat> or Neovenator type of uh, family group. And so, and they lived both in the Cretaceous period. Uh, it's just that they probably lived in separate times because uh, Acrocanthosaurus, the fossils have been found in uh, Oklahoma and Texas. Siach has been found in Utah. And so, I believe Acrocanthosaurus is uh, a little bit later than uh, Siach, if I remember correctly. And I don't quite remember the size of Siach. I believe it, I believe Siach and Acrocanthosaurus are nearly the same size, like uh, 30 feet long and uh, probably weighed uh, 4,000 to 5,000 pounds. I had somewhere around there. But uh, these, I would say this is a draw, uh, in my opinion. I, I think it could go either way. Like, uh, Acrocanthosaurus is, I mean, we have more fossils of Acrocanthosaurus, so I would probably say Acro Acrocanthosaurus is more heavily muscled and able to push around uh, Siach a little bit. Siach might be a tad bit faster, uh, but it could go either way on that one. Um, but that, that's a really good, that's a really good one. Uh, and, uh, and just so you know, guys, check out the Dino Feed. They are, that's an incredible channel. You get really good information about uh, prehistoric, uh, a lot of about a lot of dinosaurs. So check that out. Check that channel out, and uh, feel free to check out that channel. All right, Loopzilla. Uh, who would win, Deinonychus or Komodo Dragon? Uh, of course, of course, uh, Deinonychus uh, being a raptorial dinosaur, dromaeosaur. Uh, they could get 10, 10 feet long and weigh less than 200 pounds. Uh, whereas the Komodo dragon, which is a modern day uh, monitor lizard, uh, lives in the islands, of, lives in the island of Komodo in Indonesia. And so, uh, how would they fare uh, if they met up and met each other? Of course, because Deinonychus is extinct. Komodo dragon is a living animal. Um, that's a tough one. Uh, even though Deinonychus has the speed and has a little bit more intelligence, a bigger brain, uh, than a Komodo dragon, but would it, their claws really get through the skin of a Komodo dragon? Because because a Komodo dragon, underneath the first layer of skin is bone, and, and there's bits of bone inside the skin. And so that kind of makes it a little bit tough for me to determine if Deinonychus is going to win this one. Because also, uh, Komodo dragons have a venomous bite. They have uh, venom glands on the bottom of their jaw. And so they can secrete that venom that oozes up into the saliva. And once it gets into a wound, you know, it causes a lot of... Uh, it causes some problems, you know, like, uh, like uh, uncontrollable bleeding. You know, that's... What can what that venom can do, but uh, I probably say the Komodo dragon, because uh, because I would say if like a Komodo dragon can use its tail to swipe uh, one of the legs of of a Deinonychus, that Deinonychus is done for, and it takes one bite uh, from a Deinonychus from a Komodo dragon, excuse me, uh, to take down a Deinonychus. That would be my opinion on that. And Luke Zilli got another one, which is, uh, who would win, Deinonychus or Black Bear? Okay, so Black Bear, modern-day uh, mammal, and, of course, Deinonychus again. Raptorial dinosaur, lived in the Cretaceous period. Uh, never met each other. Of course, they're found on the same continent, North America, even though there are some Black Bears that are found in Asia, of course. Um, even though that the bear has uh, some good amount of muscle, and Deinonychus has speed, I'm still gonna say the bear. I'm still gonna say the black bear because even though that like Deinonychus would get some pretty good wounds on 
on uh, the black bear. I just don't see how Deinonychus could actually get away from those claws and that power that the black bear has. Uh, and also, mammals tend to use mammals tend to usually solve uh, certain types of problems pretty quickly. And so, even though Deinonychus can do that as well, it's just that I probably say is that uh, the black bear would would be able to knock out the Deinonychus. All right, Benjamin is D Long the smallest of all Tyrannosaurs? No. Uh, D Long is can get five feet long. Uh, the smallest uh, Tyrannosaur that I know of uh, might be Moros. Uh, Moros is a more recently uh, discovered uh, Tyrannosaur. I believe Moros is smaller than D Long, if I remember correctly. I do not know what the size, what the estimated size of Moros is, because there's only been a few fossils that have been found, like a like a couple limb bones and some teeth, but there is there's nothing I can say about. I mean, I, I probably would say is that Moros might be smaller than D Long, but D Long is still a small tyrannosaur. Is Cryolophosaurus the largest of all early Jurassic predatory dinosaurs? It's in the conversation. Yeah, I would say so. Is Cryolophosaurus is considered to be a large predatory dinosaur? Dinosaur found in Antarctica. I and I think uh, Cryolophosaurus could get over twenty feet long because uh, before Cryolophosaurus, it was thought to be uh, Dilophosaurus. Dilophosaurus could uh, get close to twenty feet long, and so. Yeah, I, I'd probably say Cryolophosaurus is up there. Is a Baharia Saurus the largest of all Megaraptorians? I have no idea. I believe it. it, it I believe it's not. Uh, I think there's another Megaraptorian that is a bit larger uh, than Baharia Saurus. And uh, who would win, Carnotaurus or Apalachiosaurus? Oh, that's a good one. So you got Carnotaurus and Appalachiosaurus. So you got a Tyrannosaur and you got a Bellosaur. And um, Carnotaurus is larger than Appalachiosaurus. Uh, they lived in separate separate parts of the Cretaceous period. Uh, I believe Appalachiosaurus lived, I want to say, 90 million years ago. 90 to 95 million years ago uh, in the eastern parts of the United States. And... Carnotaurus lived around 75 to around 75 around 75 to 70 million years ago. And so these two dinosaurs never met each other. They're from separate continents, of course. But if they ever met, Carnotaurus is too much for um, Appalachiosaurus. Appalachiosaurus does not have the size, it doesn't have the power uh, to take down Ap uh, Carnotaurus. Uh, Carnotaurus is got thicker skin, and also it's tall, it's bigger, and so pretty much one kick out of those legs from the uh, Carnotaurus, and even like a shove from like its skull, and even with those horns on top on top of its eyes, uh, I probably say is that Carnotaurus would be Appalachiosaurus. All right, that's all, that's all the questions for questions for today. Next week will be a special episode. I'll let you guys know what kind of prehistoric animal I'm going to talk about. So stay tuned for that, and mainly on Facebook, but I might give a short video. Uh, about that in the future sometime this weekend and so yeah and uh and you can still send me questions about dinosaurs or any other prehistoric life by emailing me at dinochris71 at gmail.com or just go to my facebook page please effects of dinochris like the page you should post your questions in the comment section please put them in comment please put them in the comment section don't put them on messenger messages for private conversations uh and make sure you know so you can know so for youtubers out there um Make, you can uh, uh, like the videos and also share the videos, sh subscribe to the channel, share the channel to anybody that is interested in dinosaurs and know the prehistoric life. And also you can stop on that notification bell so that way you can get weekly notifications of every video that comes out. And, uh, and also feel free to leave your questions in the comment section because I do read them all and uh, your questions do mean a lot uh, on those Q&A episodes. And that's awesome. And uh, make sure you keep your questions short and to the point. You can also follow me on uh, Instagram at dino.chris.pf. I post pretty cool stuff on there. You can also follow me on Twitter at, at C S C R A L. It's my Twitter page. I post pretty cool, pretty cool stuff on there as well. Also, I'll take care of people around you. And also, for your younger people out there, make sure to listen to parents, your teachers, and the guardians. It's the best motivation you can have a good education for everybody to have, to have, good, to have good education with a good education. A good, a good job in the future. In this kind of time, if you're not vaccinated yet, please wear a mask, social distance, wash your hands, because that's very important. And also, if you're not vaccinated yet, please get vaccinated, because that's very important to reduce the spread of the 
of all the variants that are coming that are being out there and uh, make sure you're staying safe in this kind of time too uh, if you're not feeling well stay home uh, do not go to work just please stay home until you get better and uh, also check out Colossal Fossils. I'll put a link in the description down below. So that way you guys can check it out. Uh, feel free to donate as much as you want. I'm still in donate in donating mode. So feel free to uh, donate as much as you want to Colossal Fossils. And so that's it for now. And I'll see you guys next week.